hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be bringing you an altered uh, journal and this is the book that I'm going to be using to uh, record and document all of my entries into my lace 2k um, and I wanted to have it in a, in a special place uh, and so I figured I can turn this book into like my challenges slash giveaways um, book so that I can write down uh, only things related to that and I thought uh, this would be the perfect time to kind of start doing that so uh, what I've done is that I've removed uh, the cover um, and I'm removing all of the excess pieces um, this has uh, some seam binding uh, on the on the spine from where they sewn in um, the books the you know the little booklets inside uh, the signatures and so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some black cardstock and this is just um, basic cardstock from recollection and I'm going to start to uh, create a whole new cover for this. Um, I'm going totally mixed media. I, at this point in time, I still wasn't kind of sure what I wanted to do with it. Um, so I'm still kind of going through the process of thinking how I'm going to design it. But I knew I wanted to change uh, that cover up because I didn't like it at all. Um, it looked like a tree bark. Uh, <laughs> and it was just not really my style. Um, great texture, but just mm -mm. I've saved the, the fabric to use later on. So what I've done is that I've pretty much measured, um, I've measured the dimensions of the cover, and I did that real easily just by, um, you know, overlapping the page and just scoring it on the sides. Now I'm going to glue it down um, and adhere the first, uh, you know, the first cover. And wh whoever created this journal, um, when they created it, they made the covers a little bit short, so you had. Uh, all the paper kind of exposed on the edge so I wanted to just extend that a little bit more just to cover those pages and protect um, you know uh, the papers on the inside and I used the whole sheet I didn't really um, you know I wanted to make it as sturdy as possible so I just used the whole eight and a half by eleven and I just folded part of that inward um, so that it has a little bit more sturdiness because this cardboard on here is a little bit flimsy <clears throat> And you're going to see me kind of playing with it and adjusting it a little bit just to make sure that I get that exactly um, how I need it to be uh, so that the covers actually match up in the front. And just adding some glue. Um, pretty much as you can see, I cut some notches um, at the fold lines uh, just to make sure that when I fold over, um, you know, the different parts of it, that everything kind of, you know, glues on seamlessly. So that I don't have too much buckling or anything of that nature. Now I'm going to uh, pretty much cut out what the inside panels are going to be the inside covers. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Just going down the inside covers. And the glue that I'm using for this is um, pretty much just Aileen's tacky glue um, that I've just put in a different type of dispensable uh, dispenser bottle. Just because of the thickness of the glue, um, I couldn't put it in my, you know, the normal glue bottle that I use, which has a really, really fine, um, you know, tip. is like a, one of those writers. So I ended up putting it in this little glue bottle, which has a little bit of a bigger opening and the glue flows out a little bit easier. Um, so here I'm pretty much just grabbing a strip to cover up the spine as well. And I've added some double-sided tape on this, and I'm adding some glue, and I'm going to cover that up. Removing some of the excess um, paper from the inside. And I'm going to do that to both covers. And this is this part of it is pretty much ready to go now what I've kind of decided to do I thought okay well maybe I can wrap a butterfly um, around the book and so I was looking for some inspiration and I grabbed this sticker sheet which has a huge uh, kind of butterfly and I really like the shape of it um, so I've tried to recreate that to the best of my ability <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out uh, which I have done so and now that part of it is ready I'm pretty much just uh, scoring it so I wrapped it around and just kind of uh, scored it as much as I possibly can with my bone folder 
and then I'm going to remove uh, that middle section there so that I just have the wings and what I've decided to do is actually um, glue on my uh, texture on this butterfly um, I really wanted it to have like a lot of texture and I thought that a glue uh, the glue gun will be the best way to do it um, by adding just little drops of glue here and there um, and you'll pretty much see uh, you know how I went about this so I use the glue gun like if I was writing with it so I used it right up against the paper and just pretty much um, you know to create those lines just pretty much strung it out strung it out that way and I've continued to add uh, more of those little little glue balls just like little dome pieces um, because I'm going to be going very mixed media with this cover so I'm going to be uh, pretty much uh, adding gesso to this to the whole entire cover um, well to the whole cover you know both covers I'm going to be adding some gesso I'm also going to be adding uh, a lot of different kind of paints um, and uh, pretty much just adding a whole bunch of different products to this uh, to get it to the way that I want it to be and so I thought that this would be the best way to kind of uh, let all of that kind of show through was by going ahead and using the glue gun to uh, just add some dimension to this so that it's got some character. So that side is pretty much done. And what I'm doing, you see me doing is actually, I had one of those little glue strings that I'm trying to uh, rip it off and it just kept on winding, <laughs> winding. Um, so now I'm going to do the second side uh, and just pretty much repeating the process. Uh, the patterns, unless you draw the patterns in, um, they're not going to come out exactly the same, but I'm okay with that. Um, but I, I try to get it as close to uh, each other as I possibly could as far as, you know, how they look. I try to get them as close to you know how I looked as possible but they are a little different okay so I'm um, just continuing uh, the process And just adding um, a lot, a lot of glue dots everywhere. And that's what I should have called them, is glue dots. <laughs> so adding a lot of glue dots everywhere. And here I'm using a very stiff, stiffed up brush to try to remove some of those little um, glue hairs that form. And with my scissors, just um, pretty much removing the excess that kind of hangs over the pattern. I think my glue gun is um, due for almost being replaced because the temperature is um, kind of gets odd now and then so this is how I'm gonna have my uh, butterfly glued on here so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that first one that first uh, side make sure that everything is nice and glued down And here I'm going to do the other side. So for that, I've opened up the book um, just to try to get them as close to, you know, where they should be as possible. And again, just making sure everything is glued down um, as good as it possibly can. And here I'm going to start kind of designing the body for the butterfly. Um, and I kept it really really simple again it's just for me about texture with this book so I just decided to add a little bit of texture so I added the head um, some wings and you'll see a lot more of it um, kind of coming out once I start adding gesso and everything else to this and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, with my glue gun just do a little bit more detailing uh, and adding a little bit of glue around the entire um, frame of the butterfly amazing how much glue you can use up doing these kinds of projects 
but I really do love um, the end result and what's great about it is that if you know if I ever get bored of looking at it I can always change it back up <laughs> here we go and again just using a brush trying to pick up a lot of those little loose hairs uh, from wherever I can um, whichever whatever doesn't come off will become texture because that's just how it is um, so right now I'm using applying some uh, deco art gesso uh, and I'm gonna apply this throughout the whole entire the spine and the two covers uh, and get this nicely coated I was very tempted uh, to use uh, sprays on this book, but I didn't um, because I didn't want the papers in the inside to get damaged. So I'm going to uh, pretty much be using Deco Art Fluid Acrylics um, and Deco Art Acrylics, and I'm also going to be using um, Deco Art Metallic Luster, which is a wax. So I'm also going to be applying some crackle paste uh, throughout the entire outside of um, where the butterfly is. So all of that empty space around the butterfly, I'm going to be adding some crackle paste uh, which is going to give it a lot of texture um, and just give it another layer. And I'm going to do this to the entire section uh, all around the butterfly. And the thicker um, you lay it on, the deeper the cracks um, that you're going to get. Uh, the thinner that you lay it on, um, the smaller the cracks that you're going to get. Um, so we're going to see on this all uh, different types of um, just texture all over this book. The crackle paste really added uh, a, a whole nother layer. Um, because it almost, in, in my representation, it's like the butterfly broke free. Um, and so it's like shattered everything behind it it's shattered um, and that's kind of how it looks which I really really like um, so here I I'm still kind of uh, going through my motion of how do I want to color this so I started off with uh, with a light kind of wash um, and what I did is I mixed uh, heavy gel medium with some of the, the fluid acrylics um, in order to get like a very translucent uh, kind of paint or kind of color um, so I started with this layer first and I'm going to be painting the whole entire book um, and the color spectrum is definitely going to change on this. I'm, I'm definitely going to go for the um, other colors as, as I move forward. Um, but this is the fir very, very first layer because I'm still trying to figure out exactly um, what colors. Do I want this to be um, a very light covered book? Do I want it to be dark covered? Um, I wasn't really sure which side I wanted to go on. So I started with the light um, and just started applying it everywhere until I used up all the paint that I had created. Um, and now I'm pulling out some metallic paints and these are dazzling metallics. Um, and I have blues, a teal, and, um, and a green. And I'll um, try to have all the products listed down below case you're interested in recreating um, you know something similar to this. And again just kind of adding them everywhere um, I just wanted it to have color everywhere so I wasn't really looking for like a specific kind of um, you know color pattern or anything like that um, this is not like a, I didn't want it to be like a traditional butterfly where you have like repetitive patterns and colors um, and stuff like that like the whole color scheme and pattern um, I wanted this to be kind of like loose and all over the place because that's kind of like how I create which is a little bit of everything um, so I'm just adding all all different kinds of layers um, and what I'm using now is uh, metallic luster also another product by Decor, an awesome product by Decor, um, and pretty much um, using black 
using um it's like a it's like a berry color if i'm not mistaken i think it's called berry i'm using rich Ex iced espresso which is like a brown i'm using brilliant turquoise and uh, black shimmer and fab fuchsia is the color that i'm using the colors that i'm using um in the dazzling no i'm sorry in the metallic lusters and i'm just using a baby wipe which is not wet it's actually a dry baby wipe to just kind of apply these on and just again just having a, some kind of a range between light and dark and just um, I guess incorporating both aspects in you know one cover because so we have like the bright yellows that kind of pop out and then we have some dark colors that pop out oh and I also used a white which is frost what is it called um white frost now I'm going in with my finger with the white frost um, just to pick up again some of the texture um, from all of that crackle paste that is on there the book is very shiny and metallic-y um, and I absolutely love the way that it looks here I'm going in with some black uh, media fluid acrylic and just trying to get some of those edges and darken up some of those edges and again pick up some of those little cracks here and there and pick up a little bit of the detailing um, of all of the glued up and raised areas and just going very freehand on this I just want a little bit of everything um, all over it so we're almost about done with this and here I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, darkening to the edges and again just trying to get a little bit of dimensioning you know uh, make different areas of the book just pop out in different ways um, some of the paint is matte some of it is metallic so there's definitely a, a lot going on on this cover and then this is pretty much um, how I'm going to be leaving it so with that being said thank you all so so much for watching I hope that you have enjoyed this video um, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, I hope that you guys will check out my challenge. I will leave a link to it down below. And uh, thanks, you guys. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.